Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to be talking about two key ways that you can upgrade your Aspire 1 netbook. This is the first gen model so the newer ones are a lot easier to get into and upgrade the stuff. This one here went up, adds some memory to it. This one originally had Windows XP on it but you saw you may have seen the video on my channel to where I upgraded to Windows Vista. These Aspire 1 netbooks have 512 megabytes of integrated memory in the motherboard, which is over on this side, as you, as you may see. There's the integrated memory. It's 512 megabytes that, is, that are built in. And you have a SODIMM slot for extra memory. This here is what was originally in the netbook. This is a 512 stick. Now I had a one gigabyte stick, which was a pull from a other laptop that was going out. And another big thing where you can upgrade your netbooks is add a bigger hard drive to them. Which nowadays they're coming out with notebook hard drives that are up to one terabyte in size. At first I thought this netbook had a PATA hard drive, like an ID hard drive, but it actually has a SATA drive. You look over here, you might be able to tell just by looking at the board. You can see here's your SATA power connection here and your SATA data connection. So, this is a SATA hard drive. This netbook currently has the Western Digital 160 in it, the 160 gig drive. What gets me about how the, how the cooling is designed on this netbook is you're, you more or less have this like a cooling plate. There's no like actual fins on there. However, I've seen some people who took some aluminum and soldered it on, which I'm sure that would really improve the cooling performance, which that cools the North Bridge and the CPU, which the CPU is the Atom chip that only puts out a couple watts of heat. This, the air still does get quite warm coming out the side. There's a view of the motherboard itself. This is the daughter board that has the card reader, the USB, the USB ports, and the audio jacks. This is the keyboard. This here is the top plate, which contains the trackpad and the spot where the keyboard would go. These things may seem a bit tricky to get into, but once you do it for one time, it's not too bad. Which in the future, if I ever fill this hard drive up, I'll probably upgrade to like a 250 or maybe better yet a 500 gig drive. Anyway, that's the two big ways you can upgrade your netbook, just memory and a hard drive. Any questions, let me know.